Well, new at six, some restrictions are about to be lifted for dining out in Miami-Dade and Broward, but the experience will not be like what it was before COVID-19. Absolutely. CBS 4's Lisa Petrillo has a look at what we can expect and some big news for South Florida's famous dining establishment, Joe's Stone Crab. Sitting in his empty Joe's Stone Crab dining room, fourth generation owner Steve Sayowitz talked with me via Zoom recently on what it's been like and what's to come. We didn't really pivot. We shifted ourselves over to the takeaway and it was an all hands on deck situation. Good Welcome to, to Joe's. Good to see you too. We were there back in October just before this 106th season of Joe's Stone Crab, a season that will never be forgotten. Year after year, according to Restaurant Business Magazine, Joe's has been named the highest grossing independent restaurant in the nation. Now, with the dining room closed, it's all about working to keep the always popular Joe's Takeaway operating full steam ahead. We had to implement new policies, new procedures, just to open up to make sure that there was no spread, that all of the, the, the employees working in the takeaway were safe. Doing their best to keep as many employees as possible, some who've been there 50 years. Did you have to furlough a lot of people though, right? Well, in the main dining room, we had to furlough over 375 people. It was awful. Joe's also delivers stone crabs to anywhere in the U.S. reachable overnight by FedEx, but nothing beats the full service dining experience that the business is built for. Not even close. I mean, between takeaway and shipping, we're not coming close to the numbers that the main dining room would do. Stone Crab season is October 15th through May 15th, and for over 100 years, the restaurant has closed its doors in summer, but not this year. For the first time ever, they will remain open for takeaway all summer. And despite the hardships now, Saywitz feels optimistic about what happens next for the industry as a whole. Over time, I think they will come back, and I think that demand will be extremely strong. And for those that do survive the pandemic, I don't think they're gonna be able to handle all the business. Back to delivering impeccable service, the experience that is Joe's Stone Crab. One thing we do know is that when we do open, it has to be Joe's. It has to feel like Joe's. It has to have that, you know, excitement and verve and tradition. And yes, you heard it. For the first time, Joe's Takeaway will remain open for the summer. And as for what the dining room will look like in the days to come, that remains to be seen. I'm Lisa Petrillo, CBS 4 News.